Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations where we will be solving one interesting quartic equation using factorization approach. So let's get started. I am going to split 6 as well as 11. So let me write our quartic equation x power 4 plus 3x cube plus 3x cube. See this is 6x cube. Now 11x square. I will write 9x square plus 2x square. So this is 11x square plus 6x unchanged equal to 840. Now I am going to factorize LHS only. So let me factorize. From first two term we can consider or we can take x cube common out. So let's take x cube if I will take common then in bracket I will be having x plus 3 from these two terms. Then similarly from next two terms I will again take 3x square common. So what is left? x plus 3. Now from last two terms we will consider 2x common. What is left? x plus 3. RHS is unchanged. Now you can see x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 3. I will consider x plus 3 total out. Means I will take common x plus 3. What is left? x cube plus 3x square plus 2x equal to 840. Now quartic converted into polynomial degree 1 and polynomial degree 3 factorization. Factorization is done. Now easily we can see this cubic equation further can be factorized. So let me find out as we can see x is common straight away. So I will take x out. What is left inside the bracket? x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 840. Now this is simple quadratic equation. If you want to apply quadratic formula, you can apply or otherwise directly we can write x plus 1, x plus 2. You can split 3x as x plus x. Okay, so now overall factorization is x times x plus 3, x, one, x plus 1, x plus 2 equal to 840. Now rest is our practice. How? I can take the product of first two terms first. So let me take x into x plus 3. I will write x square plus 3x from first two term, these two. Now I will take the product of these two. So I will write x square plus 2x plus x, 3x, 1 times 2, 2 equal to 840. Now I am going to give substitution. As you can see x square plus 3x, x square plus 3x. So let x square plus 3x equal to t. I will write t in bracket t plus 2 equal to 840. So t square plus 2t equal to 840. Remember our substitution x square plus 3x equal to t. And remember also do not forget to subscribe my channel. Let's consider t square plus 2t plus 1 in LHS equal to 841 added 1 to both sides. Why I have added? Because of now it is t plus 1 whole square. a square plus b square plus 2ab. And right hand side is 841 which is a square of 29. Once I will take a square root both sides, then I will have t value. So t plus 1 equal to 
plus minus 29. So if I will consider plus sign, then t is equal to 28. If I will consider minus sign, then it will become minus 30. Now, remember our substitution. Our substitution was t equal to x square plus 3x. Now I am going to put the value. So there will be two quadratic equation x square plus 3x is equal to 28 and then we will take up x square plus 3x is equal to minus 30 also. So let's solve this because of t value is x square plus 3x. So let's solve this equation first x square plus 3x minus 28 equal to 0. Okay. Now let's apply quadratic formula minus b. So minus 3 plus minus square root of b square. So 9 minus 4ac. So minus of minus plus 112 over 2a. So 2. So I will get minus 3 plus minus square root 121 over 2 which is minus 3 plus minus this is 11 over 2 okay square root 121 is 11 now i will consider plus sign in between then 11 minus 3 so that would be 8 8 over 2 is 4 if i will consider minus sign then minus 3 minus 11 minus 14 over 2 minus 7 so from first quadratic value of t or quadratic equation, we have got two values of x. x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 7. Now let's solve the second equation for the value of t minus 30. So let me consider x square plus 3x is equal to minus 30. Plus 3x equal to minus 30. Take all the terms to left x square plus 3x plus 30 equal to 0. Now let's apply quadratic formula minus b minus 3 plus minus square root b square so 9 minus 4ac so 120. Okay divided by 2a so 2. So it will give us minus 3 plus minus this value will be negative 111 over 2 so ultimately x value will come out two complex values because we know that negative 1 is i so this value i will write minus 3 plus minus i times square root of 111 over 2 okay so here we have calculated two complex values. So there are four solutions or four roots of this quartic equation which will be, let me write all the solutions. Finally x is equal to what we calculated x is equal to 4 and minus 7 and then we calculated two complex values minus 3 plus minus i square root 111 over 2. Here we are having four solutions. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.